Hey guys, it's Ali, and in today's video, I want to share with you some holiday fun finds. Not necessarily all Christmas related, but there's a few Christmassy things in here that I picked up over the past few weeks from the dollar store as well as Michael's. Now, I know this isn't the most exciting video, but don't worry. There is some fun content coming soon as soon as I get through exam season, the annual AGTube Secret Santa, the New Year's tag that I started last year, and other very exciting videos. So stay tuned, because I know hauls are not everyone's favorite, but I will say I am very pleased with this haul and I did definitely save a ton of money. These are just the doll sized and doll related items that I got as I did get a few other items that are more so for myself, such as Christmas cards, Christmas wrapping paper and all that stuff. So without further ado, let's get into the haul. So we're going to start off with the item that is the least doll size, but also the one that I was looking forward to the most, and it is this tree. So when I went to Michael's, I don't know if this is still ongoing or if it's just a Michael's Canada thing or my specific store, but all the Christmas stuff was 50% off and Christmas hasn't even happened yet. So that is such an amazing deal if you are a last minute holiday shopper like I am. And I do love Michael's home decor, however it's always really expensive. But since all this stuff was 50% off, I managed to pick up this blue glittery beautiful tree for $12 instead of 24 plus if you know Michaels they always have coupons and things like that so you can save even more money if this was the most expensive item in your haul which I believe might have been for me even though I would say this is not the perfect scale for dolls here it is next to a doll for comparison I'm pretty sure you could still make it work for your dollhouse decor and I just propped it on a shelf in my room because I think it's really pretty and I will definitely be using this piece in future years of decoration so it's been a few weeks since I actually bought the items compared to when I'm doing this voiceover so I cannot remember if the Halloween stuff was 50% off or 75% off but I'm leaning towards 75 but there was a whole little display with old Halloween items and they were selling these gothic inspired flowers though I think you can pass them off as regular flowers anyways and I got them for a few dollars each due to the insane sale so the first one I got came in a gold vase it has these black leaves on it and it's blue at the top I feel like you can get very strong winter vibes from this because it's just very cool toned overall which makes it look like a wintry flower so I feel like it fits the wintry vibe perfectly and then the second one that I got has a different pot it is definitely more Halloweeny and it is a black pot with a plastic maroon burgundy-esque plant in it and both of these plants do have styrofoam on the inside holding it in place but this one I don't think I can make it work for the holiday season so I will be using this for next year's Halloween. Also in the Halloween section I saw this miniature tree. It was very detailed, got it for only a few dollars because of the sale and it is a tree with a creepy face on it and some crows or ravens on the branches. I feel like this could be a really cute table centerpiece for Halloween for like a treat table or to put on a doll coffee table something like that because it's definitely not a doll sized treat or anything but I couldn't pass up on this because it was on sale and yeah definitely once again not Christmassy but it's still holiday related so we'll put it in the video going back to Christmas but sticking with the plant theme we have this next plant here and I do not know what type of tree it's supposed to be pine fir some type of fake evergreen tree. This pot is just black. Once again, you got the styrofoam holding it in place, but this tree is frosted on the top and the frost might come off a little bit over time, but I think as long as you're careful with the tree, it looks super cute on display. I had it on one of my shelves earlier this year, but I just decorated my dollhouse for Christmas. Let me know if you want a really belated video seeing my decorations. I did get a few new things from the last time I made one of these videos, but yes, that tree is currently in my dollhouse. I would say it's a little bit short for the dolls in terms of making it a Christmas tree, but it can be a cute little festive bush or something like that. Now this is not really related to holidays, but I have seen people getting these fake apples that more so for Halloween, they'll turn into doll sized caramel apples and things like that. So I saw these and I will admit they were a little expensive, especially because they weren't on sale because they're not really meant for the holidays. However, I forget how many apples you get in the pack, but I feel like you got like 20. You got a lot of apples in this pack and they are doll sized. Here's a size comparison to an R generation and an American Girl apple that I own. I would say this one is slightly overscaled 
metal, but they are made out of styrofoam. And they also did have these apples available in green, and they did have a few other fruits that were more doll sized as well. And this was like in the floral fake fruit area section. I don't know what the term is for making those like bouquets with the fake fruit, but you could definitely just use these as doll sized apples, or you can turn them into doll sized caramel apples. There's DIY videos on how to do that, but I thought these were really cute and I've been wanting this item for a while. Plus, if you have other friends who collect dolls, this is definitely a great item to split up among multiple people because I don't think I need 20 apples if I'm completely honest. Another not really holiday themed item, my mom saw this in the dollar section of Michael's and I'm so glad she pointed it out to me, but it is this little mini school supply set. So it comes with a container, which I don't think I would necessarily display it in for the dollhouse, but there is a mini stapler, mini paper clips, mini staple remover, miniature tape with refills, and a pencil sharpener. Just a ton of really cute, all functional mini school supplies. So not only can you display these in your dollhouse, but you can also pack them in your backpack and use them for yourself. And the staple remover is actually very useful because I do not own one of those. Moving on to the dollar store. If you are familiar with my channel or any of my past haul videos, even this one, you just know I have an addiction to fake plants. And every time I go to the dollar store, I love to pick up the fake succulents. By the way, I'm Canadian, so my local dollar store is Dollarama. I do not think they have that in USA, but I think Dollar Tree would have similar items. So I picked up these two succulents. They were $2 each. They both have a clay gray pot, some fake rocks that are hot glued in there. And what I found unique about these succulents compared to other ones that I normally see is both of these had two fake plants in them. Normally I'm so used to just seeing the one plant. So I picked these up and currently both of them are displayed in my dollhouse because I just love fake plants. Definitely, if you want fake plants, go to the dollar store because everything is just a few bucks and I've seen so much variety over the years in dollar store fake plants. So that is the end of this haul. I know it wasn't too, too Christmassy, but if any of you guys are in the market for fake plants or Halloween decor in December for some reason, hopefully this helped you out. Make sure to comment down below what item in this haul was your favorite. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content coming soon, such as the annual AGTube Secret Santa. Have an amazing day and an amazing holiday season. Good luck with exam season if you are a college student like myself and have an amazing day and I will see you guys soon with a new video. Bye.